Hey, how can I help you? I have this guitar here, and I wasn't sure whether or not I could legally sell it. Yeah, I've never had anyone ask me if it's legal to sell their guitar, and that would explain why. It's a tortoise shell. <laughs> OK. <laughs> I came to the pawn shop today to see if I could sell my turtle shell guitar. As far as its value, I had no clue. If I was able to sell it today, that money will go towards my daughter's college. Where in the world did you get this? I bought it at a pawn shop, and for some reason, I was drawn to it. I have done a little bit of research on it. The UK government has one that they confiscated through customs. So does the Australian government. And there's a very limited amount of them. For centuries and centuries, people have used tortoise shell for everything. I mean, it was really prized for a long time. Tortoise shell was real popular back in the day for making combs, sunglasses, guitar picks, all sorts of stuff. It looks cool, and it's incredibly durable. But some tortoises became endangered. So in the early 70s, the trade in tortoise shell was banned. I mean, it really is beautiful. The way the light goes through it, it's browns and reds and oranges. But my problem here at the moment is, I don't know if it's early 70s or older, which would determine whether it's legal for me to buy this thing. You have to think about it. A bald eagle feather is a $10,000 fine. It doesn't matter if you thought it was a turkey feather. If it turns out to be a bald eagle feather, they're going to take it from you. They're going to find you 10,000 bucks and tell you ignorance is no excuse for the law. So I've never been here today. <laughs> <laughs> I have a friend with a store right down the street, so he might know the laws on it. That sounds good. OK, let me give him a call. All right. I've seen a lot of instruments come through the store, but never anything like this. Making a new guitar out of tortoise shell would be against the law. So if I can verify that this is old enough and legal to own, then we're looking at an extremely rare find here. Hey, man, how's it going? Pretty good. How you doing? All right. This is the guitar I called you about. Wow. The sea turtle, maybe? Cool. Very cool. You guys usually call me down when they have anything with strings on it. I used to play in a bunch of different punk rock bands when I was younger, so it's kind of surprising I can even remember anything, let alone all the stuff I've learned about guitars over the years. So do you know anything about these things? They were kind of big after World War II, Korean War. Guys would bring them back from the Pacific, and I know they go for a premium. They go for a lot of money. So do you have any idea how these sound? You know, I know that bluegrass guys prefer a real tortoiseshell pick because of the sound the tone of the pick. Looks like it'd be a weird scale length. The neck looks really short, but not having strings on it, I kind of have no idea. It could sound amazing. OK. You know? So I mean, what, do you, what are your concerns? Um, basically, is it legal to own? And any idea what it's worth? This is kind of a tough one, because I don't think you'd get in any trouble owning it, because there's a lot of this stuff floating around. It's been around for you know, ever. People have been making stuff out of tortoise. but. I don't know about selling it. I would think one that was made really well, you could probably get some money for. And somebody did a lot of work on the inlay. You can see the rosetta pattern around the sound hole matches the binding and stuff. But uh, this is kind of a tough one. Honestly, dude, I wouldn't touch this with a 10-foot pole. There's people that have done 10 months of in-house arrest and paid like 20 grand in fines for selling this stuff illegally. That's what I would be concerned with, you know? <laughs> All right. Thanks, man. Right, no problem. Catch you guys later. Hey, thanks. Good luck with it, man. Hey, thank you. I'm going to look at my options as to what I can and can't do with it. I've got two girls, and I don't want jail visits from them.